How's it going, 3D printers? Andrew Singh from 3D Central here, and I was just listening to some music on my 3D printed headphones. Everything on these headphones is actually made on a 3D printer, except for the foam pads, the speakers, and the wire that plugs them in. Sounds pretty cool, right? Let's dive right in. All right, welcome back. So these headphones, which you can download off Thingiverse, and I'm including a link in the description of this video, are almost entirely 3D printed. There's only a handful of non-printed components, and we're gonna go over those in the build part of this video in just a little bit. But the way they're designed, they're one size fits all, and you can actually see the headband contains a little tiny thumb screw on the top of it. And by turning the screw, you can actually adjust the size of the headphones. And when you adjust the screw all the way in, you can see the headphones are a little bit smaller. And then when you turn the screw, they expand out. So if you have a smaller head, you might want this size, or if you want them to be larger, you can turn it out. So it's kind of a one size fits all set of headphones. And this is the third design iteration, the third version of these headphones that we've worked on. Uh, the previous two were fixed sizes, and we had small, medium, large, but there's a lot of in-between versions, and you might find that you're an in-between size. So this is a really cool way to address that. The assembly process is really straightforward, and I'm gonna show you step-by-step step how to put these headphones together. So let's do it. This is what the headphones look like when they're fully assembled. On the top, you have a screw for adjusting the size of the headphones. The side pieces of the headband are actually go in and out of the center part. And this allows you to increase or decrease the size of the headphones. You can get a very clear view of that as you're turning the screw. The cups on the sides have small ports on the back and have foam pads. And this is what your ear will be pressed up against. And then also, you have a little uh, cloth cover here. And then a hole where the cord actually goes in and is soldered to the speaker. And I'm going to show you how to assemble these headphones, including the 3D printed parts and soldering the cord to the speaker in the next part of the video. So let's take a look at all the individual 3D printed components you need to put these headphones together. You're going to need a couple different pieces. For the headband, you're going to need two different parts. This is the bottom piece of the headband, and you'll notice it has gears on it, and this is what actually makes the moving mechanism work. And you're going to need two of these, one for each side. There's also the top of the headband. This is what the bottom actually slides into. You only need to print one of these. For the pins, you need four of these. These are the long, flat pins. This is what connects the cap which is what you put your pad on, the foam pad. You need four of those pins to attach two on each, and this is what connects the cap to the cup. Um, for the cap, you need two of these. The cup is what connects the speaker to the headband, um, and you only need two of these. Then you need the top gear, and this is what you actually turn to adjust the headband. Um, and then there's a pin inside of it. You only need to print one of those. And that's it. That's the only 3D printed stuff you need for these headphones. So once you've printed that stuff all out, then it's time to look at the non-printed components and it's time to put this whole thing together. So let's take a look at that. All right, now let's take a look at the non-3D printed components you're gonna need. First, you're gonna need a cable. Pretty much any cable that has an eighth inch stereo jack on one end and has a Y cable on the other is gonna work for you. We're gonna snip the two ends on the Y cable off because we're gonna strip them down and solder them directly to the speakers on the other end. Speaking of speakers, you're gonna need two speakers. And these are gonna be placed directly in the cup. I'm including a link in the description to the exact speakers this project uses. On the cup, you're also gonna need two foam pads. And these are used to place directly on the caps of the headphones and they rest comfortably on your ears. You're also gonna need a little bit of solder to connect onto the wire to the speaker. And we're gonna go over how to solder the speaker and the wire in the next segment. Stay tuned. You'll need a set of wire strippers to strip down the wire before you solder to the speaker. So cutting the rubber insulation off the wire, you'll see you have this outer layer, which is gonna become your negative 
and you can sort of wrap that around. And if you braid that, this will become your negative terminal. And then you have another layer of this rubber insulation that you can then cut off. And once you've removed that jacket, you've now created a second forked wire. And this is what we're going to solder directly to the speaker. Before soldering the speaker, thread the cable through the bottom of the cup and then up until it can comfortably reach around into the side where the speaker is going to sit. Once you have it a little bit past that point, you can pinch it off and then tie a small knot at the base. And this is to prevent any stress, so if it gets pulled from the bottom, the speaker isn't going to actually get separated from the wire. Take the positive wire and find the positive terminal on the speaker and solder the two together using your soldering iron. Repeat the same process for the negative wire. Once the solder cools, the speaker is ready to be mounted. Once soldered, mount the speaker in the cup, making sure that the wires leave on the cavity on the side. Put the wire wrapping around. And then you have one completed module. Repeat this process for the second cup. To mount the foam pads to the cap, take your cap and slide it into the ridge along the edge of the foam pad. And it's slightly elastic, so it should snap right over. It's a nice snug fit. Now take your pins, clip them directly in, and then take the entire module and snap it straight into the cup. And now this is one completed cup for your 3D printed headphones. Snap the pin in, and you're ready to go. Great, now you have the two modules assembled and you're halfway there. Now we just have to assemble the headband to put the headphones together. This part is super simple. Take the bottom part of the headband with the gears on it and it snaps right to the back of the cup. Do this for both sides. So snap one to each of them and now your headphones should really be looking like they're coming together. Now the last part is we're gonna be adding both of these to the center part of the headband and then adding the adjuster pin, which is the top gear. And then these headphones are gonna be ready to use. Let's finish it up. Now it's time to take the bottom pieces of the headband and connect them to the upper portion. So they slide directly into the headband, just like this. And once they're connected, you can push them back and forth. And what you wanna do is get them both lined up. So try and get the headband aligned directly in the middle so that the upper portion has the teeth lined up right over where the hole is. Then take the top gear with a pin in it, place it in the hole, and click it into place. Now once that's attached, you can spin the gear just to verify everything's put in correctly and your headphones should be working correctly. A quick way to test that is just to spin the gear. And here we can see our headphones are getting smaller and larger as we're turning that knob so we know we've assembled them correctly. And that's it, now these headphones are fully assembled. All right, congrats, you did it. You built a set of 3D printed headphones. Isn't that super cool? One of the coolest parts about this project is in addition to like the standard headband, there's so much room for variation. One of the other styles of headbands that you can make is cat ears. And this is one of the ones that we have, and this is my personal favorite. 
just because it's a really fun one to make. It's really cool. Um, it's like a really fun gift if you have like a cat lover, guaranteed to make their day. And it's just a really cool project to work on. We have a build kit that has all the parts you need, like the foam pads, the speakers, the actual cable. And all that stuff is in the description. This project actually started as a Kickstarter, and you can find the link to that in the description of this video. And that'll have a little bit more information on like how this started. This was actually a successful Kickstarter that was funded many times over the original amount that was asked for. This is a cool project, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, be sure to like and subscribe to this channel. You can find the button up here in the corner. Follow us on Instagram, Twitter. Uh, we're super social. If you have any questions or comments, or if you've built one of these, share it and post pictures and videos. And thanks for watching.